Welcome to the return to dance fitness workout. This is the easiest session for the first week. I'll be going through each of the core cool and plyometric workout sessions with you in detail and as you go along through the sessions. So the majority of the workouts will be going through or most the majority of the exercises we'll be going through will be the modified versions. Okay. And we're going through, we can have 20 seconds exercise and 20 seconds rest for the core workout. And then for the plyometric workout is 20 seconds exercise, 30 seconds rest. Okay, so we're going through similar. Um, also, due to feedback from the live session as well, I've changed the order slightly to make it easier for you transitioning through each exercise as well. Okay, so the... The layout of the core session is slightly different. The plyometrics remains the same. However, are we making it sure they are easier or the easier exercises as well? So to begin with, so we've got squats, lunges, ceiling touches, calf raises. Okay, then we have the elbow to knee crunch, which you can do either up in the air or down on the floor. Okay, so we've got, so that's to say, that's a squat. Okay, and then a lunge. Okay, both sides as well. Got the ceiling touches. Then the calf raise. Okay, then the elbow to the altern alternating. Again, okay, that can even be on the floor, of the air. Okay, then you've got the um, leg raises. So again, the leg raise. We've got the sides. Then up, then down. Then you've got the flutter kicks. Then the V sits, the Russian twists, press up. Okay, we're going to again go to the knees as well. Knee press up like that. Then you've got the plank. The plank will go the straight arm. Just hold it there. So, hold it there. Then the shoulder taps, you go down your knees and tap in your shoulders. And then, unfortunately, everyone's feet to this table and then going to go into the tricep. Luckily, I've got a small bench here. Again, you've got a chair or a windowsill or a special sofa and go down and up. Okay, so you need to make sure you have some water with you as well. If there's any exercise you cannot do, um, avoid it if it is going to cause you pain and also go at your own pace okay that's the most important part as well go at your own pace don't follow me okay or I'll just guide you along through the times when to start and when to stop be go at your own pace okay just going to get the interval, interval timer ready so it's 13 exercises 13 exercises Working for 20 seconds, resting for 20 seconds as well. Then start in five, four, three, two, one. It's squats. Him down nice and low. Your feet should be facing forwards. And this is working your hamstrings and your quads. Okay, you also make sure you're nice and straight. Going down as well. And stop there. 20 seconds rest. Okay, next one we're going to do a lunge. Okay, again, you need to make sure you're balanced as you go down and back up. Making sure your knee doesn't go over as well. Starting with five, four, three, two, one, and go lunges. Alternating each time. And rest. Next one is seeing the touches again. This is making sure it's helps stretching your abdominals, which is the muscle at the front, and also your lats as well. Go up and down. As you go down, that is stretching your hamstrings and stretching out your glutes as well. So that's in two, one, and go. Seeing the touches. And down. Up. And down. 
It should be easier, it should be able to go further. Number four. And stop there. The next one, okay, put the calf raises. Put the calf raise, go up off the top and then back down. Similar to what you walking on your tiptoes in the warm-up. Okay, so going up and then down. This is helping cause strength in your tibialis anterior and your gastrocnemius as well. And while maintaining balance. So while you maintain the balance, that helps improve your core. And rest. Let's stop there. The next one is the elbow to knee crunches. You can do them in the air. Or you can do this on the floor. It's entirely up to you. So the first one round, I'm going to go up in the air. Okay, this is going to elbow to knee turns. Okay, three, two, one, and go. Okay, so whenever every time there's a rotation in your body, that causes your core to maintain your balance. Especially if you're going up on the ground. Okay, making sure as you're rotating you, your trunk, you're maintaining your balance. And stop there. Next one, this is the first exercise going onto the floor. This is the leg raises. Okay, so going on the back, come on your back, and lifting your legs up. As you go up, slowly go down. This is causing your abs to really contract. You press down, oh, the still so you start going. As you go down, if you touch your stomach, you should, you should be able to feel your stomach contracting a lot. You can go up and down, 10 seconds left. Don't forget to breathe, you in. And breathe out. Breathe in. And rest. Okay, next one, okay is the flutter kick. So again, lay on your back. This is causing more little movements at the bottom again, being controlled, and it's causing your hips to be slightly on balance, which then causes your core to be working as well. Three, two, one, and go. Three, two, one, and stop. Okay, the next one after that is one of my favourites, maybe people's less favourites, that's the B sit. So as you're going up and basically as you bring your raise your arms and legs up, you need to lots of control. That's making your trunk compress. And as you lengthen it back down, causing them to lengthen it. So three, two, one, and go. So causing your abs to contract and then lengthen. Which then causes your core cool to work in. If you've got a good core, cool, it allows you to maintain balance easy. And stop there. 20 seconds rest. Okay, once you've done the V sit, okay, you're now doing the Russian twist. The Russian twist, you're going to lift your legs up. Actually, we're going to leave up, keep our legs up on the floor, making you sit upright. We're turning the body again. Rotate your body, causing the abs to stretch side to side. Then go. So rotate in. You get any time there's rotation of the trunk, it causes the muscles in the trunk to contract. Three, two, one, and stop. Okay, you've got 20 seconds rest. Next one is the press up. So again, we do press ups. Put it on my version. Okay, you're going to go on your knees. Okay, arms in front of you. Go all the way down and up. Okay, you've got five seconds. Three, two, one, and go. So your head's gone all the way down and all the way up. All the way down, all the way up. Three, two, one, and stop. Okay, well after that, it's a plank. With the plank again, like I said earlier, there you go. Look at your arms out. 
make sure you're not too up, right, hips not too high, and your hips not too low. You've got five seconds, three, two, one, and up. So don't forget to breathe as well as you're doing this next time. Again, this is a nice electric contraction, which means lots of muscles will contract at the same time to ensure you stay in the same position. And stop there. Okay, you got some plank. You've got two more to go. Next one is shoulder taps. Feel your knees again. Tapping your shoulders. So you're going to face the camera this way on your knees. Okay, out in front of you, touching your shoulders. Three, two, one, and go. And stop there. Last exercises, okay, it is the tricep dip. So you're just going to go to the tricep dip. Okay, go down to the bench. Make sure you're going down nice and slowly. Okay, make, make sure you don't touch the floor. Okay, three, two, one, and go. And stop there. Okay. This is the easiest session. We're only going to go through that rotation once. If you want to do it, you can do it afterwards at the end. We're only going to do the rotation once. I'm going to give you a minute rest. Should I say two minutes rest? Okay, and then we're going to start the plyometrics. Okay, so that's the first rotation. Okay, if you want to do an extra one, you can. But you may want to go on to the harder session, you feel that's fine as well. Go into the plyo ply one next, okay, which is 20 seconds work, 30 seconds exercise. So, 20 seconds work, yep, yeah, 30 seconds rest. So you've got around about a minute to go until we do that. I'm going to go through, actually, I'll go through the exercises as well. I'm just going to grab some water. So the first exercise is jump squat. And then the next one is jump and lunge, you go down, jump up. Next one is a plain caper. Okay, nice and gentle. One, two, three, 20 seconds. Next one is a fast stop, so you just hop in on the same spot. 20 seconds, then change the legs. This one we are going to do the double step. We're going to do the single step, the first set of my steps, and then we're going to do a double step. So, the double step for the first set of my steps, and the single step for the second set of my steps. Well, actually, you can choose which you want. I'll be doing That's what I'll be doing as well. So, turn it up to you. We did do. Single step, double step, an extravagant double step, and then a rant step in the, in, in the live lesson. It's entirely up to you. However, I'll be doing a normal, or a lower intensity double step, and then a single step later on. Okay, then all I need to do is an in and out squat. So you're going to go in and then out. In, so down, back up. Okay, in and out squats. Next one I want you to do is a just a jumping jack. So jumping jack, you go out, in, out, in. Okay, normal. Okay, or start jump as you know that as well. Next one, not going to do a split lunge. Okay, however, we'll do a broad jump. Broad jump is a two footed jump. So we go up, turn, and turn. So that's the broad jump. And then we'll do the more steps again. We'll be 
the single step. Okay, just going to get my my phone ready, and that's what you that's the plyometric session. Okay, yeah, starting in five, four, three, two, one. Okay, jump squats. Ten seconds left. Three seconds. Two, one, and stop. Okay, then we're the jumping lunges. Going down and then jumping in between for 30 seconds rest, we're going to go down and change and change. Okay, 15 seconds left. Five, four, three, two, one, and go jumping lunges. And stop there. Okay, yeah, so the plant metrics, these are short explosive movements which cause the muscles to shorten and lengthen in quick succession, which allows you to create or generate power. Next one is to play in capers. Okay, build up a field time play caper. Left, right, left, right, for 20 seconds. And go. Three, two, one, and stop. Okay, the next one, okay, you may not feel like it's working your body a lot, but after the 30 seconds, or after the 20 seconds, you will feel your calf contracting a lot. Now 15 seconds rest. 10 seconds. Five, four, three, left, hops, two, one, and go. Five seconds left. Two, one, and stop. Okay, now you should be able to feel the leg you've been hopping on, contracting and feeling quite heavy. So we're going to do the exact same on the other side in 20 seconds. Half the rest gone. 10 seconds left. Five, four, three, right foot, two, one, and go. Let's stop there. Next one, we're going to do double step and more steps. In 20 seconds. 15. 15. So we're doing the normal double steps. Then one, two, three, hop, one, two, three, hop, in three, two, one, and go. A 
let's stop there. The next one is gonna be in and jump out and then jump in. So you still got 20 seconds rest. So if you want, grab some water. Again, do this at your own pace as well. You have just over 10 seconds left. Three, two, one, and go in, and then jump out. Go back in, and out. And stop there. Next one, okay, the next exercise. Again, lots of jumping, because obviously we do lots of jumping and hopping in Mars dance. And the next one is the jumping jack or a star jump. The reason why you do so much jumping is to make sure your legs are getting used to the short, explosive impact you have while you're hopping and while you're jumping as well. Star jumps in five, three, two, one, and go. And stop there. Okay, the next one, okay, it's a different movement we didn't do in the live session. So it's a four jump, two feet jump, jump in, turn, and jump. Okay, got 15 seconds left. Penultimate one, penultimate exercise. Three, two, one and go. So four jumps, yeah. Ten minutes. And go. So I have mine left there. Go. Ten. One jump and go. And stop there. Apologies there, I forgot what we were doing. Okay, 25 seconds left, we're doing a single step for the last movement as well. Ten seconds. Okay, single step, three, two, one, and go. You can move around if you want. Three, two, one, and stop there. Okay, so that is the easy session for the first pre-recorded um, return to fitness, or return to dance fitness program. Okay, if you found that a little bit too easy, maybe next week you try the harder session that's entirely up to you. Okay, so now if you can follow the cool down video, which has also been sent to you as well. Hope you enjoyed the session and see you next week.